What is going on, movie fans? I'm Brian, this is Jacob, and Hello. we are here to talk a little Detective Pikachu and whether or not we think that you should see it, save it, or skip it. So I was very much looking forward to this movie. I was a pretty big Pokemon fan growing up, and I was very excited. But overall, I think you should save this movie. It, I almost said see it, but for me, it's not good enough for you to spend 10 to $15 on going out to see it. So I think you should still see it, but at home later on. So for me, I'm gonna see it, but I'm barely teetering on that. I'm almost with Jacob on the save it. I just have an attachment to it actually being a Pokemon movie, the first live action one. So for me, if you're attached to Pokemon, I, I, you gotta say, see it in theaters. Even though I'm saying you should save it, I do think there are some good things in this movie. And one reason you should save it is because the way the Pokemon look. At first, when that trailer came out, I was like, what are they doing? But after seeing it, there were some characters that were just absolutely amazing. The Pokemon look great. And I almost want to tell you to go watch it in theaters because I thought the special effects were very unique and, and very custom towards the Pokemon look. Charizard being one of them, Pikachu was amazing. You could have gone make them look very, very realistic like animals, or you could have gone like heavy, heavy, heavy cartoon CGI look. And there was like a mixture of and a balance. They're like these magical creatures that live amongst humans. There's just There was just so much abundance of the Pokemon on screen and they did not shy away from showing too many of the Pokemon and how they looked. And I definitely, definitely appreciated that. I just thought just seeing all these different Pokemon was definitely a positive of this movie. The other thing that I really, really enjoyed about this movie is the setup and the potential to make spin-offs in this movie or keep this franchise going. A second reason why I think you should save it and eventually see it is the world building and the mythology. They alluded to a lot of things in this movie that you could even connect to past events in Pokemon. That's the thing that I love about Pokemon as a kid playing the card game, playing the video games. Give us what we want though and give us that live action, a trainer trying to catch them all. They do a lot of stuff that make you feel like you're in this world, like you're revisiting the video games again, like you're revisiting the card games again. Who knows, This that could end up being what Justice Smith's character ends up doing is eventually leading into this world of battling in Pokemon that we all love and would love to see. There's a lot of stuff in here that kind of show you there's this outside world outside of the small story that they're telling and everything going on with like the battles and the arena and the, the capturing Pokemon and all that stuff. I thought it was so cool and I thought it set this world up for something really cool potentially in the future. The one thing that really, really bothered me in this movie and it almost made it a save it for me was the cheesy kid-like aspects of this movie. And obviously I don't love this movie. I definitely think um, it really missed the bar on being a good film. Obviously, Pokemon's geared towards kids. It's, I mean, I grew up with it. it I remember when it came out in the fourth grade and it took over my world. It still almost somewhat does. The main reason for that is it's very, very kid-friendly and cheesy. It was too much for the kids. Kid-friendly isn't a bad thing, but the thing is, I think people misunderstand making a movie kid-friendly for making it, oh, so crazy and out there and cheesy. I have a fear that they are never going to really give us a Pokemon battle on live screen because they don't want to show the Pokemon getting hurt. There's certain characters in this movie and there are certain moments in this movie that are just absolutely ridiculous and make no sense. So that is a big fear for me moving forward. You kind of get a taste of that with the battle scene between Blastoise and Gengar. Just take me out of it because it's kind of insulting the audience and treating them like they're dumb. Moving forward, I would love to see an actual Pokemon battle and that type of stuff going forward in this movie. Unfortunately, with the amount of kiddiness that they showed in this movie, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Kids can take more mature, serious stuff, and I just thought this movie was like, oh, this is on Nickelodeon. That's what it felt like to me. All right, well, that's gonna do it for our See It, Save It, Skip It of Detective Pikachu. Again, 
I think you should save it and still see it eventually. Brian thinks you should go out to the if, theaters and see it. If you're a lover of Pokemon, go see it in theaters. Definitely. And there, there are a lot of good things in there. But just be prepared and know what you're going into and don't have too high of expectations. All right. I'm Jacob. This is Brian. We are Apocalypse Movies. Thank you all for watching and let us know your thoughts of Pokemon Detective Pikachu in the comment section. See you all next time.